Today's video, I wanted to share a off-grid system which I've built over the last week or so. So first off I want to share that I have collaborated with a company called Solar Algarve. They have supplied all of the materials and designed the specifications of this project and I installed it. So yeah there's a link to Solar Algarve in the description. They're a really cool company. It's an English guy and a Dutch guy who run this company. They've been down here for about 15 years and their understanding of this is, is really good. I've learned a lot from these guys and I'll definitely be using them on my project. I will limit how much I show of the house because I want to respect the owner's privacy. But I can show you where we've situated the solar panels. They're on top of a, a small um, house off the side. Really good place for them, south facing. And we've got 15 panels here so um, three sets of five. So with the solar panels they're just on a really simple profile. There are some screws here which are screwed into the rafters of the roof and then the profile sits on that and then the solar panels are, are held onto to the, the profile. Um, but I think it looks pretty cool. It's not too um, intrusive to the eye and you know if you're creating all this energy it's not a bad uh, compromise and then we have this perfect little outhouse here which is situating the inverter the batteries um, it's not too far from the panels themselves and yeah it's just a perfect place because you don't want to put them somewhere where it's really humid um, or have problems with damp because obviously you have a high chance of um, corroding the system itself So we have the three lithium batteries, the BYD batteries. Um, this is an isolator. It's just if anyone wants to do any work on this system, you can just isolate it here. This is the smart solar charge controller. Here we have a 5000 kVA inverter. And then in here is just where everything kind of connects. There's a buzz bar down here. All the connections are joined and links everything together. And then you have this really smart monitor here, which monitors the incoming side from the solar panels, the state of charge for the batteries, and then the AC load, which is basically what the house is drawing from the system. So with the batteries, oh, just open this up. So here we have um, a three tower system. These are lithium batteries. These are the latest uh, ones that BYD are supplying. They have a nominal voltage of 50, or sorry, a nominal capacity of 50 amps. Um, but with these, the max charge and the discharge rates are also at 50. I think the older models, um, Solar Algarve was saying they're around 30. So what that means is, because they have a higher rating, they can um, supply energy and also receive energy quite uh, a lot quicker. Funny enough, when we first installed, when I first installed these batteries, we couldn't plug in the solar panels um, because I didn't have enough of the MC4 connectors. But because they were, I think they were about 55% charged, I could still send power to the house, make sure things were working in the house. Um, and then when I did plug in the solar panels, I think an hour and a half later, they were fully charged. Another great thing about lithium batteries, um, so look how much space they take. I mean, this is about 800 mil off the ground and I guess what, 600 wide. They're on legs, so they're off the ground. Another company who um, this client got a quote from, they, for the same type of installation with the same type of um, inverter, they have kind of similar um, setup, but they were advising to use 24 lead acid batteries. Where are you gonna house 24 lead acid batteries um, conveniently 
And again, like I said, with the rate of charge and the discharge, in my opinion, lead acid aren't the way to go. Okay, so with the solar charge, we've gone with Victron um, equipment, Solar Algarve really advocate their stuff. Um, and I can see why they're really simple to install. Oh, something's just kicked in. So uh, this is a perfect example. So someone's just turned hot water on downstairs and before this AC out was about 60, 60 watts and the solar panels were floating around 80. Um, and what this is doing, it's basically showing you that now the house is asking for power. It's coming straight off the solar panels. The energy used for the water heater to kick on, as you can see, it's quite a, a heavy whack there. Um, it's coming straight from the solar panels. And this is kind of, I guess I'll, I'll come back to the equipment. This, this is one thing that I love about this system is in the winter months, it's, it's good to be conscious of the fact that you have so many hours of daylight. And when you wanna use your washing machine or when you wanna heat your water, do it in during the day when obviously the solar, the, when the sun is out, because the energy is not coming from your batteries, it's coming straight from the solar panels. And we've actually overspecced on panels. Um, I guess generally for this system, you'd only need require maybe about 10 panels to for it to, to work. But obviously in the in the winter months when you don't have as much sunshine, um, having a, a, a broader spread of panels, it just allows the system to run a lot smoother. So this has been on now, I guess the water heater's kicked on because someone's having a shower. Um, and as you can see, the batteries haven't dropped at all. Um, still on 100%. I'd always recommend um, having a few more panels to your system. Okay, perfect. So I figured I'd wait five minutes. So the, the water boiler's still on. We've dropped 1%. So this is the load out for the water heater. It's asking for almost 2000 watts. The panel's producing 1300 watts. It's actually quite an overcast day. So the battery's just kicking into complement whatever extra energy is required to heat up the water boiler. But yeah, just to prove it's, uh, oh, I don't know how well it's showing a bit. It rained a little bit this morning. Um, so with an overcast day like this, you can still see that with 15 panels, we're still producing almost 1500 well there you go if you are connected to the grid and you're doing like a feed back to the grid system with the victron you can actually enable it so if your battery's got down to say 30 percent and you didn't want it to go any further you can program it so the grid then kicks in and starts powering up your battery so you can have a, um, a multi-grid system here with this and for anyone who's curious to know what's behind this door um, it's literally just where the buzz bars. We made buzz bars here for the pods and the negs to join to. Um, this one being the batteries. So again, if you wanted to add more batteries, you could just join it to this system, um, link more comms cables to it, so it would recognize um, that there were more batteries. So, the water heater has been on for 15, 20 minutes. And like I say, it's a cloudy day, so we've dropped 2% and now as you can see the AC loads drop right down this will be like the fridge I guess and whatever else they may have charging so that 2% that's just been used for the last 20 minutes to um, assist the energy from the solar panel now the energy is going straight over and topping the batteries back up so with the Victron system it really is like a self managing system there's a Wi-Fi USB dongle in the back of this monitor which links up to your home Wi-Fi. What that enables you to do is I can monitor, the client can monitor, um, Solar Algarve can monitor their system from any location in the world by having it registered to a database uh, with Victron. And what's really nice with that is that if there was ever an issue or you wanted to monitor your energy consumption, this baby collects all of that data. I guess the next question would be, what does an installation like this typically cost? Um, I'm just gonna give a, a range because it would depend on the size of the inverter that you require, the amount of lithium batteries you need, um, how many panels, where they're situated. So I'm just gonna say in the range between 10 and 15,000 euros, I wouldn't say less than 10,000 for a typical system like this because 
Victron isn't, it's the best, in my opinion, it's the best out there, but obviously it's not the cheapest. Um, all of this stuff does come with a five year guarantee, a warranty, I do believe. And the panels, I mean, yeah, they're so efficient these days. They're 315 watts per panel. The panels don't all have to be together either. Uh, because they're wide and in pairs, they could have 15 on their roof and then they could add another 10 in the garden and link it all to here. That is possible. So I hope you like this video. Um, I've tried to be informative as possible. If you have any questions regarding this, feel free to leave a comment. And if you are interested in having a solar system power in your house in Portugal or in Spain, then please get in contact with me or with Solar Algarve. And if you do get in contact with Solar Algarve, please mention me or this video because then there's a reference. See you on the next video. We will be talking about further experiences of Vineland in Portugal. We're almost there. Um, but yeah, stay tuned, be well.